Hey YouTube, Doug with DNA in the Garage here. Today, fixing my rear view mirror. Went to reach for my um, Easy Pass the other day to pull it off my windshield, and this thing just fell right down. I guess the glue that was over here gave out. So I uh, went ahead and tried some industrial strength 3M double sided tape, and that worked great uh, to the end of my driveway, and then it fell off um, as well. So uh, then I did what I should have done in the first place, got on the internet, did some looking around, came up with this, all right? This is a little kit by Permatex. Cost me $9 at uh, Advanced Auto. I think you get them cheaper online, but I was a little impatient, wanted to, wanted to get it done today. Um, and this little kit has everything you need, allegedly, to uh, reattach this to your windshield permanently. Um, now, I've never used this kit before. I've never had this problem before. So we're gonna kind of learn together here. But according to the reviews online, this kit absolutely works. So let's see what they include in here, and then we'll do this quick. I won't make it a long video. Um, we'll see what they include in here, figure out what we have to do, and hopefully get it done quickly. Now, I'm pretty sure it's a little too cold outside to be doing this. It was 28 degrees, but uh, it's not going to be warm enough anytime soon to do it correctly. So I'm going to wing it. I'm going to risk the $9 on the Permatex rearview mirror. Uh, adhesive repair kit. Uh, it comes with, let's see, it comes with some alcohol prep pads it looks like. Comes with a razor blade to scrape off the old glue material. Yep. Comes with, I know I understand this is both a prep pad and one side of the epoxy. You know how epoxy works, there's two parts to it. This is one side, uh, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, and then this is the other side. Let's start at the beginning though. First thing we have to do is remove, this is called the button, this little metal piece right here. This is what glues onto the windshield and then the rest of this assembly screws onto this. So this piece slides right out. And it's my understanding that we need to, you can see it's beveled. I don't know if you can see that. We need to make sure we get the right side. So this is the side that needs to go towards the window. I'm gonna go ahead with a Sharpie and put an X on this side. So I know this is the side that needs to be facing me uh, when we actually go to do the install. If I put it in backwards, well then I'm not gonna be able to attach my mirror. That's really gonna annoy me. Just to double check, yep. And then a little torque said, if you're doing it on a Jeep Cherokee like I am, interesting. My Pittsburgh, oh no, here they are. Nope, my Pittsburgh uh, Torx drivers don't actually tell you which Torx it is. Looks like about a T25, maybe a T30. Uh, so yep, that's all that is. Um, I know that we're going to need to take this bit of sandpaper they gave us and prep the back of this button. So again, the X is the side that's going to be out. That's not going to get glue on it. Uh, we're going to take this little bit of uh, sandpaper here and we're going to prep this button. I think that this serves two purposes. One, it gets the old adhesive off and two, it gives a nice textured surface for the epoxy to adhere to. I estimate that's probably good. All right, let's get out to the Jeep, and uh, it's not a not a long process, I don't think. Let's see what we can do. All right, now on the outside of the Jeep, on the outside of the windshield, I'm gonna take this Sharpie, and I'm gonna do a circle around the area where the old adhesive is. The reason is that once I scrape this off, I'll have no idea where to put the button back on. Um, this Sharpie, you could use a dry erase marker or something else, this will come off with alcohol. All right, y'all, I know this view is a little bit janky, it's nighttime and there's weird lighting, but uh, had to get it done tonight. Don't feel like commuting without a rearview mirror again. So here is my old adhesive. I think you can probably see that. I'm gonna take the provided razor blade and I'm gonna scrape it off. And it actually comes off a little easier than I was expecting. It's very important to get all of the old adhesive off. I am confident that's all off. I'm gonna take one of the provided alcohol pads and very briefly wipe the area. Let's see, Ooh, it's a very tiny alcohol pad, okay. All right, that alcohol has dried, and I know you can't see it, but I can see the outline that I made with Sharpie of where the new one needs to go, which is good, because otherwise I'd have no idea. Now this is the, uh, the two-part package that they include. It's to 
finish cleaning the window, but it's also the first part of the epoxy. What you're supposed to do is rip it apart like this without ever touching that green piece inside. Again, I apologize for the lighting. My options were don't film this or, you know, film it with very sketchy light. So uh, you don't want to touch that. You want to take it and rub it on the window. That's cleaning it. And again, it's the first piece of the epoxy. The next step is going to be to glue, put the glue on the button, cut the top off this. Okay. I know film quality is not up to what it usually is, but uh, whatever, you get the idea. We're gonna put one drop on there. One drop. I reckon that's a good enough drop. We're gonna place this right up on the window and I'm told, whoops, we need to hold it for one full minute, just like this. All right, YouTube, it has been an hour. The directions say to wait at least 30 minutes. It certainly feels solid. Uh, we are going to now return the rest of the assembly onto this button. It slides right on like this, like so and then it tightens up and there you go you have now returned your rear view mirror to its rightful place on the vehicle all right guys that's all there is to it the permatex rear view mirror adhesion repair kit cost nine dollars took about 10 minutes to apply i let it cure for an hour um, only because it was cold the directions say again about 30 minutes uh, we will see how it lasts if i have a problem with it that is to say i'm driving and my rear view mirror pops right off the windshield uh, i will make a reaction video and i will put a card to that video on this video so if you're not seeing a card up in the corner somewhere uh, that means it's still going strong um, i am confident Permatex is a good company. They make good stuff. Uh, I will put a link to where you can get this down below, but um, I found it right in the aisle at uh, Advance Auto. So um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any other ways that you know for a fact, proven methods that uh, you can reattach a rear view mirror, I would like to know. Uh, if you found this video helpful, if you found it entertaining, and I hope you did, by all means, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Like I said, leave me a comment if you want. Thanks for watching. See you next time.